In this tutorial, we will make changes to the pattern of the dress. As you can see, the dress right now is extremely tight on the avatar, and we will fix this by making changes to the pattern. We can confirm the overall fit of the garment visually, but we can also analyze it a bit more in depth by switching the rendering style under the show garment icon to the stress and strain maps. The stress map shows the pressure or tightness of a garment. And the strain map shows how much of the garment shape is altered or affected by this pressure. If you select a point on the garment, you can see the percentage of change relative to the selected area. We are going to keep the garment rendered in the strain map mode and make changes to the pattern to see how it affects the fit of the garment. To track these changes visually, we are going to turn on both the Sync and Simulate buttons. Then, we are going to select all the patterns in the 2D pattern window by enclosing them in a click and drag selection. Using the scaling points along the dotted selection box, we can do a very rough adjustment to the size and proportions of the pattern. As the pattern changes, you can see that the percentage and color of the garment rendered in the strain mode also changes into a more comfortable green. If we inspect the 3D avatar, we can see that parts of the pattern are now going through the avatar's body as a result of the changes made to the 2D pattern. We can simply click and drag these points in the 3D environment to adjust the positioning of the pattern on the avatar. Then, we are going to change the rendering style back to the default textured surface. Next, we are going to adjust the neck and hem of the dress. To do this, we are going to use the Add Point and Curve tools. To add a point along the pattern, simply select the Add Point tool from the toolbar and then click where you want to add the point. If you have a specific measurement or ratio in mind, you can right-click on the line and type in a measurement in the pop-up window that follows. You can compare the measurements shown in the pattern to those shown in the pop-up window to decide whether to enter the value in length number 1 or length number 2. When you enter a value in either one of them, the other will automatically update by subtracting the value that was entered from the overall length of the line. When you're satisfied, click on the OK to add the point. If you want to add a series of points along the line spaced using a specific interval, right-click on the line and then select the Split Width Length box. Enter a value and you can see that points are generated along the line at the interval you just entered. If you want to change the starting point these lines are measured from, check the reverse direction box and you can see that the first point is now measured from the bottom of the square instead of the top. You can also split the line into equal segments by checking the uniform split box in the same right-click activated pop-up window. Simply enter the number you want to divide the segment by and click OK. Clothe 3D supports two types of curves with two different tools, the three-point curves with the Change to Three-Point Curve tool and Free Curves with the Add Anchor tool. The Change to Three-Point Curve tool is used to change straight lines into three-point curves by clicking to add them, then dragging the point along the line. It is very important that you drag the point after clicking it. If you forget to drag, the point is added directly on top of the straight line and cannot be edited by the Change to Three-Point Curve tool. We can of course switch over to the Edit Pattern tool to edit, but at this point, it is easier and more effective if we use Ctrl-Z to undo the new curve and start from scratch. As implied by its name, the three-point curve is made up of three points, one curve point and two end points and therefore we cannot add any more curve points after the first one has been created. If you need more than one curve point, we can switch over to the Add Anchor Point tool. We click along the line to add anchor points. Then, 
we select the Edit Pattern tool to move these points and adjust the curvature. This tool achieves the same kind of curve created by holding down the Control key while using the Create Polygon tool. Now that we've added all these points, let's learn a little more about how we can manipulate them using the Edit Pattern tool. This is the go-to tool when you want to edit any points or lines on a pattern piece. When you first click on a pattern with this tool, it will select the entire pattern. In order to use it to edit specific points and lines, we need to re-click the point or line to have it highlighted and ready to edit. With nothing selected, you can also bypass the click and re-click by double-clicking the point or line. If you hold down the Shift key while moving points, guidelines relative to the original position of the point will appear on the screen. You can also hold down the Control key to extend the point along either of its two intersecting lines. As you are moving points or lines, the purple numbers that appear along the lines display the distance moved relative to the original position. You can enter in specific distances by clicking and dragging the point or line and while still holding down the left mouse button, right-clicking to open up a distance-related pop-up window. Enter the distance in this window and click OK. You can also use the Shift key and Control key activated guidelines with this pop-up window. To delete points or lines, Simply select the point or line and hit the delete key on your keyboard. Now let's use these tools to adjust the neckline and hem of the dress. We are going to activate the sync button so that we can see the changes we make in the 2D pattern window reflected in the 3D avatar window. Then double click on the midpoint of the neckline and drag it downwards. But while doing so, we are going to hold down the Shift key to lock it along the Y axis. Then, we're going to right click to open up the pop up menu. Here, we are going to enter a value and then click OK. For the back neck, we are going to change the straight line into a curve. We are going to first get rid of the midpoint on the neckline by double clicking it, then hitting the Delete key. Then, let's select the Change to 3-Point Curve tool and click and drag the new point downwards to make a nice even curve. We can repeat these steps to adjust the hem of the dress. Delete the midpoints, then use the Change to 3-Point Curve tool to add curvature.